Today I will be showing you guys how to complete the objective results challenge in the quickest and best way possible that I found. Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're having a wonderful day. So today we're going to go ahead and tackle the objective results challenge. So for this challenge, you need to earn objective medals in match made games. Now you may be thinking, I mean, that sounds pretty straightforward. Really, all you got to do is play objective modes on really any Halo, right? Well, the funny thing is, is that I always struggle with this challenge because I'm not exactly sure if it's a bug or some kind of glitch or something. But there's actually certain games where if you do do objective modes and stuff like that, like King of the Hill on certain modes, it doesn't count towards this challenge. I'm not sure if it's a bug or because maybe in that certain game they don't have a medal for it or something. Um, and it's kind of strange. I don't know. The, the way this challenge works is just kind of wacky. Because on certain games, when you play objective modes, it just does not count towards this challenge. And so really that's what I'm doing this guide for is to show you guys how to complete it, of course, the quickest and what games work the best that I found. Of course, if you guys have a better method, I'm sure some people do, you know, be sure to leave it in the comments down below so you can share it with everyone. But I will be showing you guys the method that I found and it works pretty well. So, all right, so let's go ahead and tackle this challenge. So the first thing you want to do is obviously go to social games and you want to have Halo CE and Halo 2 Anniversary enabled. And for modes, you want to have zone control only. For this challenge, we're trying to get King of the Hill. And I found Halo 1 and Halo 2 to give a lot of medals when you're playing King of the Hill. Um, so it makes it extremely easy to just kind of grind it. And you'll pretty much complete the challenge pretty quickly. So yeah, you just want to do that. And I'll go ahead and search a game. For Halo 2 Anniversary, you might get like territories or something. Territories does work, but I think it's a lot slower than King of the Hill. So what we're really trying to aim for here is a King of the Hill game type. Territory. So unfortunately, we got Territories, which I prefer I prefer King of the Hill, because it's a lot easier. But I might as well show you guys the, this uh, first method, I guess we could do. And that is just Capture Hills. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. And you just want to Capture Hills. And as you capture a hill, you will actually get a point. And there we go. As you can see, objective result. We got one point. And really, that's all you have to do. So make sure you're getting territories on Halo 2 Anniversary. If you want to do it that way. And you just continuously, you know, capture the points. If you want, you could even go further and actually let the enemies capture the point or something like that. So that way you could, like, kill them and then recapture it or something like that. You know, you could be cheeky. Kind of let them capture it and stuff, and then just recapture it after that. But uh, yeah, that's really a, the way it works. You just want to continuously capture territories, and you'll complete it in no time, really. But the ideal one that I wanted to show you guys, which I'm going to go ahead and throw a clip of it, because I found two perfect clips where it shows me getting a lot of kills in King of the Hill. And really, all you have to do is stay in the hill and just kill people from the hill. That's it. You literally just have to sit in the hill, get like 10 kills, and you, you finish the challenge that easily. Of course, you know, there could be like people you match that are like completely sweaty and stuff. Or it could go the other way. Um, and there could be like a bunch of like, um, you know, newbies or whatever. <laughs> and you would farm them easily. So it could really go either way. But yeah, I think the ideal way is you want to get king of the hill. And you want to sit in the hill and just kill 10 people. And so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys another clip of me doing it in Halo CE because it could also be done in Halo CE. So if you're like a, a god at CE, this one will definitely be for you as well. You just want to do the same thing, just like in H2A. You want to sit in the hill and get kills or vice versa. Same method, just different game. Um, you want to make sure to do it on Halo 1 or Halo 2 anniversary. And yeah, you know, 10 kills, pretty easy. Um, I really like the King of the Hill method, but of course you could also do the Territories method on Halo 2 Anniversary. But I think that one's a little more difficult, but you know, it's really up to you. I'll let you guys decide which one's easier for you, or just more fun, I guess. And yeah, that's really all you have to do. It's pretty simple, quick and easy. 
that being said, that is how you complete the objective. Results challenge the quickest and best way possible that I found. Of course, if you have a better method, be sure to leave it down below in the comments. Uh, you know, tell me if you found a better method because, you know, this these kind of videos are for the community, made by the community. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and liking the video if it helped you and it shows your support. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.